Welcome Sagittarius and Cross Watchers. This is your general love reading for January 27th through February 2nd. Um, Sagittarius, it looks like you want to move forward and uh, away from conflict. So stick around. Let's see where it goes. Hey guys, welcome to Quartz Rose Tarot. Uh, please keep in mind that all readings are general readings and they will not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't resonate with you, it's not your story. Take what resonates and leave the rest. If you're interested in booking a personal reading with me, all of my information is listed in the description box below. You can also reach me at quartzrosetarot at gmail.com and visit my website at quartzrosetarot.com. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And let's get into this and see where it goes. Sagittarius, you're starting off your read with the um, chariot card here. This is Cancer. So you're wanting to move forward quickly. You're wanting to move away from conflict or move conflict from rough waters to calm waters with the Six of Swords. This made you very guarded and defensive. This conflict. You might not be talking to the person that you're wanting to um, move forward quickly with to move this conflict away um, because this person is the keeper of the secrets and they keep them to themselves. But you're using your intuition about it. You want to move whatever the conflict is from rough water to calm water. And you want to offer your cup of love to somebody. Could be a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. You have Cancer on the board here, too. You have um, Gemini, uh, Libra, Aquarius, and you have Aries, Leo, Sag. This is about a passionate new beginning. There's some passionate here. Could be a sexual relationship, but you're offering your cup. There are feelings here for this person. And I believe it's this king of wands. This is you, Sagittarius. Could be male, could be female. Take it how it resonates. You can flip it or twist it. It could be vice versa. I'm reading the energy of the cards. So take it out, resonates with you. Now, this person, if he's in competition with somebody, he's going to be the winner. <coughs> Excuse me. He's going to be the winner here. He's taken a long time to do this, though. It's taken a while because he's coming in with the Knight of, of Pentacles. Slowest moving Knight in the deck. He will cross the finish line, and he will have something stable to offer you. And he wants to work and collaborate with somebody. And have a passionate new beginning. Looks like with this Queen of Swords, this is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They're sitting side by side. But she's the one making it, that decision. She has a head over heart decision to make. It could be a stalemate. She has a blindfold on and there's a moon here. So there could be secrets that she's not aware of. But he's coming in with the truth. This is the truth. The truth. He's coming in quickly. This is quick movement. Very quickly. This is coming up very quick. So this is going to happen very soon. You know, there's a decision that needs to be made about this truth. There's some regret here. Now, it's coming next to her, but she could have been missing this person or having some regret. And there's going to be communication about a decision. There's a lot of, a lot of passion here. There's a lot of passion. You could be dealing with a Leo, Sag. You have Leo here. You have Aries, Leo, Sag. You have a lot of water. You have a lot of uh, fire, primarily water and fire here. You have a little bit of earth here, but not very much. Um, you're wanting to manifest something. You have all the tools here. This is about manifestation. It's coming next to the Six of Cups. So you're wanting to manifest something from with somebody from the past that you had some regrets with. You know, maybe you both did some things that you weren't happy about. And, you know, you're needing strength to manifest happiness. You want happiness and success. And you want equal give and take in this situation. You're needing strength for this equal give and take. Somebody from your past, you want a victory. Got a lot of sixes on here. You have six, six, six right in a row. So this is about change. You know, you you're going to you're going to change this. You've got you've got uh, um, this is about victory, victory with the past. 
relationship. A lot of wands here, a lot of fire, Sagittarius. So, you know, this person's wanting, this is somebody from your past has been manifesting you back is what it looks like. You know, they want wish fulfillment here. They want, they want some, some satisfaction and happiness. They're wanting to have um, a conversation. They're making that decision to, you know, come in about the truth. Now, this person here that made the decision to speak a truth is the one that she's having the regret. Whoever did this has the regret. But you, standing in your power here, the king of wands, you're wanting to move it forward past this conflict. You already know about this conflict. You already know what happened. You still love this person. You still want this to go forward. Now, she's making that decision to tell you the truth because she's regretting this. She wants to manifest this. She wants this too. You both want the same thing here. You both want this 1111 card here. You both want the foundation. You want happiness, success, and celebration. So under the bottom of the deck, Sagittarius, you have an apology coming in. Either you're going to apologize or they're going to apologize, however it resonates with you. There's an apology. Somebody who is evenly yoked with you, someone you see eye to eye, someone you are a soulmate to. This is a soulmate connection that want to reconcile this relationship. You have the judgment card. You have the hierophant. Reconciling a, a, a relationship, something traditional. Because they felt very anxious and up in their head about being left out in the cold. So whether it's you that was out in the cold and you want to apologize or whether it's them, it seems to me that it's the queen of swords that is going to be apologizing because she's the one with the regret making the decision to tell the truth. You already know the truth, though. And you still love this person, and you want to move forward past the conflict. So it looks like, to me, Sagittarius, that you guys are going to reconcile this and fix whatever was broken. If this resonates with you, please leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I hope you have a wonderful week.